In the glamorous world of Hollywood, there are legends that transcend time. But behind the dazzling smiles and captivating beauty lies a story waiting to be uncovered. Today, on a journey through history, we will uncover the naked truth behind Marilyn Monroe's debut on the first Playboy cover. She was more than just a movie star. She was an icon of desire, a symbol of liberation in a conservative era. And when Hugh Hefner set his sights on her, the world would never be the same again. Let's dive deep into the controversial photo shoot and the undeniable impact of Marilyn Monroe's debut on the first Playboy cover. Marilyn Monroe was a woman ahead of her time. Her appearance on the Playboy cover challenged societal norms and sparked a revolution. It wasn't just about nudity. It was about embracing sexuality and embracing oneself. She paved the way for future generations. Are you ready to uncover the naked truth? Picture this, it was the year 1953 and Hugh Hefner had just launched Playboy magazine. He was determined to make a splash and captivate readers with something new, something daring. Then it hit him. What better way to grab attention than featuring THE Marilyn Monroe? At first glance, it may seem like a straightforward decision. After all, Marilyn Monroe was the epitome of beauty and allure, the epitome of the playboy ideal. But the story goes much deeper than that. Hugh Hefner consistently credited Marilyn Monroe for making Playboy a success. Unfortunately, she did that without any say in the matter. Marilyn Monroe didn't just grace the cover of Playboy as its first ever cover girl. She boldly became the pioneer who dared to bear it all within its pages. According to Hefner, Monroe was the driving force behind catapulting Playboy to stardom, as her captivating presence caused the debut issue featuring her to fly off the shelves in December 1953. Interestingly, the iconic nude photos of Marilyn Monroe that rocked the world weren't originally intended for Playboy's pages. As revealed in a high snobiety interview with Pierre Voudrag, owner of the renowned vintage poster and art retailer Limited Runs. The legendary photos were actually taken by photographer Tom Kelly way back in 1949, a whopping four years before they made their way into Playboy. Surprisingly, Kelly offered Monroe a measly $50 for the session, which she agreed to being in between jobs at the time. Back in 1949, when Marilyn was facing financial difficulties and without a job, she found herself in a daring situation. In need of $50 to cover a crucial car payment, she made a bold decision. As revealed in her friend, photographer George Barris's captivating book, Marilyn, Her Life in Her Own Words, Monroe agreed to pose nude for renowned pinup photographer Tom Kelly. According to Barris, the intimate photo shoot lasted a span of two hours. However, Monroe had one particular request that she demanded from Kelly. She wanted to appear unrecognizable in the photographs, adding an air of secrecy to the whole affair. In her pursuit of financial stability, Monroe bravely took a leap into the unknown, never anticipating the lasting impact these images would have on her iconic legacy. However, before the shoot, Marilyn laid down two ground rules, that Kelly must pay her and that his wife must be present throughout the shoot to prevent any inappropriate things from transpiring. In a twist of events, Marilyn initially kept her identity a secret when it came to the infamous photos. To maintain a level of discretion and safeguard potential future job prospects, she discreetly signed the images as, quote, Mona Monroe, signifying a hint of embarrassment. During that era, many studios had strict decency clauses, and Marilyn was cautious not to jeopardize her career. In a fascinating turn of events, the photos later found their way into a popular 1951 calendar. As Monroe's fame began to skyrocket in 1952, coinciding with the filming of Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, the images resurfaced once again. Rather than denying her involvement, Marilyn bravely confessed to the photos in an interview with a reporter, expressing that she did what she needed to do. Surprisingly, the public not only embraced her honesty, but also found the whole affair immensely intriguing, ultimately amplifying her allure as revealed by Pierre Voudrag. In a bold move, Hefner shelled out a whopping $500 to acquire the rights to the Monroe photos. 
Once he had those coveted rights in his hands, Hefner wasted no time in publishing them within the pages of Playboy. The result? A mind-blowing instant sale of 50,000 copies, as reported by Business Insider. This was an absolutely colossal achievement considering the era. With a price tag of just 50 cents, the magazine promised something that had never been seen before. A stunning, full-color, nude photo of the one and only Marilyn Monroe. But there was a catch. The post office, believing that nudity couldn't be sent through the mail, had banned such content. However, one man dared to challenge that notion, Hugh Hefner. In an exclusive interview with E! News, Hefner revealed his rebellious spirit, saying, quote, I didn't think the post office had the right to dictate what we could or couldn't send. So we did the unthinkable. We published that daring picture of Marilyn Monroe. And oh, did it cause a sensation. Everyone had heard whispers about this groundbreaking photo, but hardly anyone had actually seen it. That is until Playboy came along and shattered the boundaries. The magazine unleashed the captivating image of a fully dressed Monroe sitting atop an elephant, promising readers a glimpse of her in all her glorious nakedness. The result? The world went wild. People flocked to newsstands, eager to get their hands on the magazine that defied conventions. Playboy's daring move not only defied the post office's restrictions, but also defied societal norms, paving the way for a new era of boldness and freedom of expression. As the pages of Playboy turned, that iconic photo became a symbol of liberation, a testament to the unstoppable force that Marilyn embodied. It was a defining moment both for the magazine and Marilyn herself, a moment that would forever alter the course of pop culture history. It was a moment that proved that rules were meant to be broken, that art and freedom couldn't be stifled. Playboy took a stand, daring to show the world what they believed in. And with Marilyn as their muse, they ignited a fire that would burn bright for decades to come. All of this sounds pretty impressive, right? However, here's the catch. None of it happened with Monroe's consent. Marilyn never signed any agreements or contracts with Hefner or Playboy, leaving the magazine free to feature the photos without her explicit approval. Technically, Hefner played by the rules by legally securing the rights, but it certainly doesn't make it a consensual arrangement. Despite the prevalence of morality clauses and the conservative mindset prevalent within many film studios during that time, the publication of these photos did not tarnish Marilyn's illustrious career. In fact, many argue that it only added to her irresistible appeal in the eyes of the public. Nevertheless, it's crucial to acknowledge that things could have easily taken a different, potentially detrimental turn. The republishing of those photos serves as a glaring example of disregarding the crucial element of consent. Undoubtedly, Hefner followed the legal route and wasn't being shady about it. Nevertheless, publishing nude photos, even if you technically have the rights to them, is a clear display of reckless behavior when it comes to respecting someone's right to give consent. Back in those times, the potential repercussions for appearing nude could have been enormous. It's a relief to know that Marilyn and her career managed to move past this situation gracefully. Her honesty about why she took the photos endeared her to the media and the public. Hefner consistently asserted that Monroe was the driving force behind Playboy's triumph to the extent that he made an extraordinary arrangement for his own burial. Astonishingly, Hefner purchased the vault adjacent to Marilyn's final resting place, paying a staggering $75,000 for the privilege. It's quite an extraordinary gesture to go to such lengths for someone you've never had the chance to encounter in person. This captivating move by Hefner demonstrated the profound impact Marilyn had on his life and the immense admiration he held for her. In the end, Marilyn Monroe's debut on the first Playboy cover was more than just a scandalous photo shoot. It was a pivotal moment that challenged societal norms, redefined beauty standards, and set the stage for a cultural revolution. Marilyn's daring decision to bear it all would forever be etched in history, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment and beyond. As we reflect on this captivating journey through time, it's essential to remember the importance of consent and the boundaries that should be respected, even in the pursuit of art and fame. 
Marilyn's story serves as a stark reminder that behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, there are often untold tales of struggle, resilience, and the price paid for success. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.